Now let us see how we can give assignment and quiz to our students. To give assignment, just click on create and the assignment tab. Give the title of your assignment. Here I am writing assignment 1. We can give the description like attempt all the questions. Like we have uploaded material, in the same way in the assignment also we are getting options to upload the question paper or the questions in the following formats. Here I would use upload file format. We will go to the browse and select the question paper from the system. As you can see, the assignment had been uploaded. Here we are getting few options like the student can view the file, the student can edit the file and we can make a copy for each student. For now, we are choosing student can view the file. On this side, we can change the points. We can also set the due date. For example, I can set it as 23rd September. Under which topic you want to assign this assignment as this assignment is related to unit 1. So, I would choose unit 1. If you want to create new assignment and it is related to a different unit, you can create new topic here also. Now, one thing which you can see here is the rubric. What is this rubric? This rubric acts as a parameter on the basis of which the student would be going to be evaluated. Let us see how we can create rubric. Just click on the rubric and again you get three options. Create rubric, reuse rubric and import from sheets. Click on create rubric. Here we will create rubric from scratch. We can set the criteria. The first criteria is the content. We can write in the description like the content should be specific. We can assign the points like 5 points and we can give the value as excellent. And in the description we can write to the point content. We can Create as many points as we want. We can give three points and good. And in the description, we can write more analytical answer required. We can give one more point and we can write as below average work harder on work harder next time. So, we have created our first rubric. In order to create the second criteria, click on add a criterion. The second criteria may be related with the formatting. You can create the rubric basis on the basis of your criteria. You can write the description like the word limit for 
each answer is 300 words the font to be followed is times new roman and font size we are deciding is 12 again we will give few points we will give 5 point we will get excellent all guidelines of formatting had been followed we can add three points as good work more on formatting so in this way we have created two rubrics and you can create as many rubric as you want and after creating the rubric click on save you can see here in the rubric two criteria 10 points had been written so we have created rubric for this particular assignment you can also reuse this rubric which you have created there is one more facility available here that is the plagiarism checker we can check the content submitted by the student that is whether it is original or not there is limitation that uh, it cannot be applied to each and every student only five originality report can be generated but still it is very helpful in order to know the sources from where the students generally copy the material. If you want to assign this particular assignment, we have clicked on the assigned and you can see the assignment had been created.